Hey now, and welcome down to KC Toy Reviews. We are here today with The Hell Dominator by Flashpoint Toys, a.k.a. Spawn. Now, if everybody remembers correctly, a few months back there was another Spawn quote-unquote 1-6 scale figure that came out, which in my opinion, the quality, the way it looked was fantastic. However, it was absolutely ridiculously huge. Basically a quarter scale figure. So here swoops in Flashpoint with a proper scaled figure. But unfortunate to say, there are several blunders with this release. And if you're at all curious what those are, let's go ahead, hold each other's hands, fine comb some of those details, and dive right the hell goddamn in. <laughs> Alright, so here we are again with The Hell Dominator by Flashpoint. In my opinion, Flashpoint is hit or miss. They've had some really odd releases that I think have failed, and they have some really fantastic releases. For instance, the Doomsday Joker, a.k.a. Joker from Zack Snyder's Justice League, specifically the Doomsday scene. Now, you might be asking yourself, what the hell's with this shot? This is a very odd shot to start with, and well, because I'm going to immediately start with the bad, and that's because the bad is a very big hindrance upon the rest of the entire figure. And well, what's bad about this? This piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and this sword here are all extremely heavy die cast pieces. And the reason these die cast pieces are flaws is because they are ridiculously heavy. This sword is so goddamn heavy that his arm could basically only hold it the way you are seeing it. If I tried to have it in any type of bending pose, it was so heavy that I'll show you this, it will bring the entire arm down to a straight bend as you're seeing now. This piece here, the very classic, big, thick, right boot of Spawn, I don't know why, I always thought that was one of the coolest pieces of his outfit, is so goddamn heavy, I could basically use this piece as a weapon. And I am not joking, I could bash somebody over the head with that, and it would most likely kill them. That chain's really flopping around here. Um, but anyway, so unfortunately, with that said, because this piece here is so heavy, this leg almost like flops. Look at this. It brings the whole leg down. I mean, it's a big flippity floppity. These legs flop around down, come around downtown right now. It was just completely unnecessary to have a boot like this to be die cast. I don't know if it was just bragging rights or something like that, but when the execution fails, it makes no sense that we went that far. And by the looks of it, I mean, listen, not that we're already starting to bash this thing, but let's be real honest with each other. Through the lens, what you're viewing here, as far as quality-wise goes, can you really tell that that's die-cast? Whether that was die-cast or plastic, based off of the quality paint application and the mold that I see here, I wouldn't be able to tell one or the other. And I don't know if this is something out of the comic or not. Like, nowadays, it's just more riggedy-raggedy or something, but it doesn't look like the greatest quality. These little spikes here could have been a little bit sharper as far as quality and image goes. And this is coming from somebody that, as we speak, has Spawn number one hanging up on the wall right next to me. I am an absolute avid Spawn fan since the first issue arrived. So I'm very aware of what we're looking at here. I'm just a little bit curious whether this is a quality issue or it's supposed to be just kind of weathered and beaten up. And it's probably worth noting this one here is also die cast, just not the same issue. I mean, I'm going to show you again. Look at this thing. Look at that. That is crazy how heavy this thing. Let's see if we can make a sound here. Oh my god, you hear this so Jesus. This is absurdly heavy. I cannot stress how heavy this little boot here. It's probably heavier than an entire figure. Let's do that one last time, just because how ridiculous that sounds. Oh my god, it's gonna break my I I thought I broke something. I didn't though. Jesus, that's ridiculous. Oh. Oh my god, this piece fell down now. Well, might as well make our way reverse order on this review. I do need to stress... Oh my, you know, is everybody seeing this too? There's like tiny little red dots. 
all along the leg here. It must be from the paint on this thing that's starting to kind of chip off. Oh my god, the quality on this figure. Uh-oh. We're not going down a good path here. Let's see if we can get this thing here. That's just even the way this thing goes on here. Oh my god, how janky that is. What in the what in the uh that's a piece of crap system there. I'm sorry. That is just jam that up there. That is ridiculous. That little pleather piece there too, depending on your climate, that will deteriorate over time. Oh, the cape's coming off. Might as well shift. Everything's falling apart as I'm touching this guy right now. As, as we're in this motion, I'm always I'm laughing. I'm immature just because we're staring at his ass here. This is supposed to actually be up, but that piece completely fell apart already as well. So as you can see, there's two little pieces here supposed to plug in there, and well, boom, fell right under his ass. Unfortunately, we have an assless skull here. Um, there's supposed to be a skull right above his ass, but quality-wise on this figure is just not looking good so far. I, I don't even know what to do with this. I'm just going to let it dangle. It looks like it looks weird. It is dangling between his legs like that. And as promised, the same issue with the sword. Again, this thing is so goddamn heavy. That if I put his arm up, look at this. It pulls the whole arm down. The sword is so heavy, it pulls his entire arm down. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm I'm so disappointed. I'm a big Spawn fan. If I hold it like this, I guess it kind of holds in place. But look at this. It's just flippity-floppity everywhere. Look at this thing. This thing is so heavy that you just really... I basically need to glue it in spot. If I want it to hang up here... But it's just going to do it at once. It, this sword's going to basically... It, it wants to do whatever it wants. I mean, while we're in this shot, we might as well show off the sword. The detail is pretty nice, as we can see here. Um, fantastic detail. Slight weathering. It looks like it's kind of beaten up and sharded throughout there. Scratches and everything. Um, as I've mentioned and picked on here, it is die cast, obviously. It's just a real shame that the body cannot hold the weight of these items. But the same thing with this. There's no reason to make this this ridiculously heavy and die casty. I don't know why I said die casty, but let's just show this flippity floppity armor again. And as we shift up here, same thing. These two pieces are die cast. And then this arm piece I've been having trouble with. See, it just keeps falling all the way down to like here. Um, I can really, I can jam it up. But due to the the material of this suit, it's like this rubbery, it kind of like pushes the suit up. I feel like my voice is cracked. kind of pushes the suit up at the same time, and I feel like I'm going to damage it. So it's unfortunate that this piece keeps falling as well. Um, it seems like I kind of got it in place there. And then this piece right above the crotch, um, similar to the one above the ass on the back, I feel like it's just going to fall off. It's obviously put in place the same exact way the one on the ass was put there, so I just fear that probably in a couple days or something, tinkering with it too much, that thing's going to fall out. The one on the ass has already fallen out, out of the box, I mean, and this sword is annoying me. It is just falling everywhere. What the hell's going on with this thing? And this, this chain is kind of cool. I don't know how you can mess up a chain, but this is a real chain. This this piece is kind of cool, and it seems like the uh, this piece fell down again. Oh, my God. Th you know what? I'm biting my lip saying it, but this thing is borderline a piece of crap so far. I know it looks, it has decent shelf presence, but, man, I can't believe these pieces are falling down. Anyway, the chain is decent quality. I guess that's a pro. Now, as far as putting the cape on here, another big downfall We've all seen this button system. If I mean, man, every Joker figure almost uses these buttons as the button up on their shirt. So you kind of just plug it here, see if we can hear the snap. A little ASMR, ready? Boom, you hear that snap? It's in there now. The con of it is this cape is so... I probably can cover the entire camera right here. Look at how ridiculously big this cape is. There's a wire down every single crevice that you can see here making this one of the heaviest capes I've probably ever seen. And we're going to hold up this ridiculously heavy cape on this figure with two little plastic buttons. I can't tell you how many times it's already come unsnapped as I was tinkering with it and trying to bend it into spot. It's just a very peculiar choice. There's some magnet system, something that clips around here, something better than these tiny little buttons because, man, if, if, if the... Look, it already came off again. Didn't do that on purpose. If the ass thing fell off, if the crotch thing is going to fall off, these things are going to fall off or something's going to have bad happen over time because, man, I can't believe how many times it keep coming off. 
Now, on to some pros, I mean, the head sculpt, in my opinion, is actually pretty fantastic. Similar to the other Spawn release that was, again, basically a quarter scale, I see a slight color difference between the tones of the black on the head sculpt and the suit itself. They are far darker on the suit than they are the head sculpt. This is an absolutely ridiculous miss and a quality issue. Obviously, he should have the same black tones on his mask as he does the suit. It's the same material throughout. But again, I think the face sculpt looked pretty good. The artistic look is ripped straight from the comics. And unlike the previous quarter scale release, which had like these funky eyebrows, this one just looks right. So they did a good job with the head sculpt. I just wish the black tones were a little bit darker. Now, a striking resemblance to the previous quarter scale slash one six scale release, the cape on this figure is absolutely stunning. And dare I say, probably one of the best capes you will see in a long time. As I mentioned, you have a wire basically down every single crease and crevice that you can see there. On this side of the cape, it's kind of this shiny red blackish gradient look with the ripped tattered bottom. And then on the back side of it is a straight matte look. Even these two kind of hook things up the top near his head are completely bendable with a wire throughout it. And the way this piece of the cape kind of sits around the top here is really well done. And let's see if I can do this. I'm going to step out of shot here. Look at the size of this cape. That's just one side. Look at this thing. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. This is probably the biggest cape I've ever seen. And obviously the same thing over here. This is just the biggest cape of all time. Excellent quality, excellent look, fantastic craftsmanship. But unfortunately, as I say that, and as I was tinkering with it, the buttons came undone again. So this thing is basically about to fall off. That button system is atrocious for a cape this heavy. And last but not least, the included crotch grabber stand. I'm not sure what to say other than, well, was Flashpoint angry at anybody that didn't order the deluxe one? Yes, there's a deluxe version out there that comes with a burnt separate head sculpt, a machine gun, and then like a hell LED stand with demons or something of that sort. And I'm almost chuckling as I'm saying it because I would still expect them to include some type of nice branded stand, whether it had colors or something on it. But what the hell is this block piece of crap? I'm not going to go too much further, but it is just a weird looking block stand. And on top of that, it's not very wide. It is a straight square. So as far as room for his feet and those ridiculously heavy die cast ankle pieces... I would say that this stand would just end up looking preposterous. And on top of that, he does balance well. So I don't know what the hell this thing is, but hey, I guess they included something. So we have to look for some type of positive. And there we have it. The Hell Dominator by Flashpoint, a.k.a. Spawn. Now clearly, as we can see in front of us and as it spins, shelf presence is not a problem. Throw all the quality concern issues that we saw through the video out the window. Take a couple steps back. This piece looks fantastic. But unfortunately, underneath the hood, there are some major issues. And a lot of the issues are caused by the heavy weighted items that came with it. The heavy sword, the heavy pauldrons. Everything that's die cast on him is basically so heavy that the piece itself cannot hold it up. On top of that, the chain belt above his ass is already starting to fall apart on my figure. Cross my fingers that nobody else had that issue. And well, as much as the cape is amazing, and well, I dare I say one of the best capes again I've seen in a long time, I still have some major concerns about the way it buttons on there and how it's going to hold up in the future. Had it been executed properly and attached with some more confidence, I would say overall this cape is probably the best you will and ever see in a long time. It's just a damn shame that the execution wasn't done 100%. But I need to say it one last time, as it spins in front of us, the cape, the overall presence, the look of this figure is absolutely fantastic. It's just the drawbacks of the weighted items are going to hinder you in the articulation and posability department. If all you're going to have them in is some type of museum pose, then perhaps most of the things that we're griping about aren't going to matter to you. But for the price point, I would care about some of those things, especially the color tone between that mask and the suit. They should absolutely match. And as a massive Spawn fan, I was very excited to have a proper 1-6 scale version of this figure on my shelf. And not that I'm not excited anymore. 
I just think my expectations were shattered a little bit because I expected a higher quality piece than what we received. And I think with that said, it's a great segue to slap a score on this guy. And it's a little bit of a tough one because, again, as he spins in front of us, it's changing my mind a little bit. It clearly looks fantastic. But we saw a lot of issues throughout this video. And unfortunately, what comes to mind is a 6.7 out of 10. It looks great. But will it hold up over time? And paired with the issues I've already experienced, a 6.7 out of 10 feels fair. And with a 6.7 out of 10, I'm not sure I would 100% say go out and get this figure. If you're a massive Spawn fan, if you collect 1-6 scale figures, well, clearly this is as good as you're going to get, and I don't think you're going to be terribly disappointed. I think a lot of people out there get excited about these figures, and that excitement will cover up some of the quality concern issues that we do have, so you might be satisfied in the end. But my job isn't to cover up anything with excitement. It's to be fair. It's to show you what I see and to be careful because you're spending $200 on this piece, so you need to be aware of what you're about to purchase. And I have a feeling this is going to be the last spawn figure we see in a long time. So with a 6.7 out of 10, $200 price point, make what you want of it. It all boils down to your personal opinion. And if what you see in front of you satisfies you and like it, then get it because that's all that matters. So with all that said, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here today at Casey Toys with Spawn in his one six scale. Well, glory i say that with a question mark because i'm not sure it's a glorious figure but as i said it's still going to satisfy a lot of the fans out there and my god if they ever came out with a one six scale violator i would probably poopy my kadoopy catch you guys next time casey toys out Brah!